hackers all over the world continually target and try to break into government networks, and on a few occasions, they have actually succeeded. Well, the United States Department of Defense has a new plan to find and patch vulnerabilities in their network security. Dubbed Hack the Pentagon, this new bug bounty program is actually asking for hackers to try and breach their systems. But not just any hacker in the world, though. They want it to be limited to only vetted hackers that reside in the United States. Each hacker will undergo a security background check before attempting to break into the systems. Then, once approved, each hacker will be given a very specific system for them to try to break into. And none of the networks or computers being targeted in this exercise will be part of any kind of critical system. If successful, the DoD will offer up a bounty to the hacker, but at this time, the amount is unknown. While on the topic of hacks, it's interesting to note that a guy named Anan Prakash found a loophole in Facebook's password reset option that allowed him to brute force his way into any Facebook account at will. To do it, he navigated to the beta or mobile versions of the Facebook page, submitted for a password reset, and used the send a code to my phone option. He found that these versions of Facebook did not have a limitation on the number of PIN numbers you can enter. So then all he had to do was brute force a six digit password. Facebook paid him $15,000 for his fine. So not a bad day's worth of work. DARPA has announced a new vertical takeoff plane designed by Aurora. It uses a 4,000 horsepower engine to generate three megawatts worth of electricity to power 24 ductless fans. These fans allow it to take off vertically and fly at speeds of 345 plus miles per hour. They're calling it the X-plane, and the whole idea of this thing is to have an unmanned aircraft to be able to take off at a 90 degree angle while seamlessly transitioning from hovering to flying. On top of that, it has to carry a load equal to 40% of its weight, or for this case, roughly 10,000 pounds. If you ask me, it's kind of cool. Do you like spiders? <laughs> Okay, me either, but a new use for the venom of tarantulas has sprung up that might actually prove to be beneficial. As you already know, traditional painkillers are kind of an issue for many people. Sure, they can relieve pain, but a lot of the times they are also used as a narcotic and can become addictive. Well, a peptide found in a pavilion green velvet tarantula venom called Pro-TX-2 apparently binds to pain receptors to block pain without any narcotic side effects. And although we've known about this for a while, they really haven't figured out a way to study it. Now, scientists from the University of Queensland have found new ways to figure out how it all works and hope to create a new painkiller from their findings. I'll just link the article in the description for you to read more. So I learned something new about the heart today, and that is once damaged, it does not have the ability to regenerate itself. And a heart attack can cause upwards of 1 billion heart cells to be lost. A new technique that has been tested on mice already is to use skin cells from a patient to regenerate cells in the heart. They do it by extracting stem cells from the skin, freezing it and using it to repair the heart. They predict that in the next couple years, they will be able to do the same thing in a very similar manner to humans. Okay, I'll just link that article in the description as well because there's a lot more scientific stuff to read about it, but science. Oh, and there's also a monkey here controlling a wheelchair with his thoughts using an implant in his brain. So, you know, there's that. That's it for today. Like and subscribe below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at underscore bite my bits. And thank you for watching.